welcome to Max Art Place, which is my channel, and I'm Marlene Ashworth Cosan, and that's how I get Max Art Place. Big long story for a short word. Anyway, I have another six by six inch tile, and I'm going to try again the, the white and black split. I didn't like the way it came out last time. Um, and what I do is I soak them in hot water and remove what I put on there if I don't like it. And that's why it seems like I have so many tiles. I really don't. So anyway, I'm using a lot of different colors uh, today. And the light green is green yellow from Artist Loft. And I'm using Primary Elements jasmine this is my cell maker and this is primary elements sky blue here is the light green and uh, i have this purple sort of that i mixed up with a lot of different substances so i don't know what you really want to call it Um, it's still a little thick. I might put some water in it. I have Primary Elements Starburst. And I have this pink that I mixed up in case I use that. And I also have this U.S. Art Supply uh, Gold Interference Pearl. And my pouring medium with what I'm doing here is bare deep base um, paint uh, with no tint. And it's a little bit of GAC, some Jasonia, and polyurethane. And that's what I have in it. And this might be a little thick too. So before I start, I will check all my paints to see if I can get them as close as I can to the same consistency. And I hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you in a bit. All right. So I have Sargent's Black. Um, I'm going to use on the bottom half. I tried cleaning out the lid. Boy, was that a job, and it doesn't look like I did very good. It had all kinds of dried paint in there, and I stuck sticks in it and all kinds of things, and I can't really get it to clear out very well. A little bit of rain yesterday it was very nice we haven't had hardly any rain everything's drying up lots of fires I'm hoping I can get this turntable to do what it's supposed to do. See when it does, it catches. And I don't know why it does that. So I guess I gotta get a new turntable, probably because this is plastic and I really should have a metal one. Anybody has any suggestions, please let me know. I'd be very interested.
Oh, I got enough on there that time. And the other thing that I've decided to do is I'm going to try and perfect the blowing to make a bloom with using my uh, machine that I have over there because I just can't do it um, with my lung issues. It's just too hard for me. So I get so dizzy, or I should say, ha, ha, ha. Uh, but anyway, that I'm just going to try and perfect perfect that and uh, see what I I can do with that. All right, so there's my black. Stay on. There's my base. All right, so... little bit of that and a little bit of this mm -hmm. there it comes ready or not Uh, I think I'd like a little more pink, but So these paints are going to have a lot of air bubbles uh, because I just got done mixing most of them. So I got to remember to do the um, torch to get the air bubbles out. This is that really, I don't even know what it is. I mixed so many colors with it. And we have the yellow. Yellow and black is a really good combination. And what do I want to add on this? I need something else. I've got yellow on that side and the pink and there's the green. I want to do a little bit more pink. And I think I would like to put copper around the outside instead of gold. Come on. A malfunction in the pink department. Not paint, pink. Malfunction in the pink. It just does not watch. I'll get too much now. There we go. Go. See, told you. Told you. Okay, so I have gold out here. I don't have my coppers, so I guess I have to use gold, even though I wanted copper. And it looks like my table is crooked because it's all sliding that way. And I did measure my table, and it's not crooked. 
Oh, I can tell this is really different. And here is my... hope this is thin enough. Last time I used it was too thick. So I kind of did add some uh, something else to it. What did I add? Oh, I had another cell maker that was black. And so I added some of that to this to make it a little bit thinner because the other one before I did that, it was absolutely too thick. So, hopefully, I get this machine trick down, but I gotta move stuff out of the way because I have such a large painting area. Ha 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 ha. I don't want to spill anything like I did before. All right, I'm going to try it. I think the air comes out too quickly. And this side is better than what I did on the other side. I'm holding it further away. I don't know why that's not making cells and this one is. It's the same cell maker.
Now I'll let that rest for a little bit before I start playing with it. You can't get too close with this gun because it blows too much paint away. But I still don't know why. <clears throat> now there's cells on one side and not the other. We're going to try the air bubble trick. Let's see what I can do here.
This one is coming out a lot better than the other black and white one I did. I had uh, transparent colors on the black part, which I didn't like at all. And I still got to try and use less paint because this particular uh, expression doesn't need that much paint. I am going to get into using something other than a six inch tile. These are just easier to remove the paint once it's dry if you don't want to keep it. Then canvases. Canvases can do the same. But uh, the tiles are very easy. You just soak them in a little bit of warm water and then you can peel the top right off. Let's see if I can spin this side up. And it always does that. And I don't know why, but I do want to do something. If I do something in this corner, I had to do something. I did something on that corner. Now I can just leave this corner, I guess. A little bit out there. And a little bit like that. So there's negative space, black negative space. And I want to make sure it's even on the sides. Okay, so I need more for it four plastic cups and a metal turntable. We'll give that a try. Because I certainly can't turn this one. So, I hope you like that. Um, I'll take you for a close-up look-see and hope it dries to something very nice. I kind of don't like this black blob in here, but I don't know what to do with it unless I... Here we go, messing again. Drag some of this. And drag a little of that. I like this color right in here. It turned it really nice. Yeah. And maybe this has a little pink on it. Well, uh, not much I can do with that. So there are other black spots there that are uh, just blobs. And maybe I'll get some cells with there. We don't know. So we'll show you a close-up. Here's a close-up of today's trial. And I hope it's not an error. The color combination turned out okay. And there's just, I'd like a little bit more negative space. And I think I would like less paint on there, but there it is. I hope everyone likes it and hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye for now.